What is up you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if it is your first time here, welcome. So today I have a Good American haul for you. I've talked about Good American a lot recently on Instagram, but I have not done a Good American YouTube haul in a while. So I have a lot of new things and I figured I'd hop on here and show you everything. All of these things were sent to me for an Instagram collab. They did not ask me to do a YouTube collab. I just figured I would hop on and share because I love a lot of the stuff they sent me, but this video is not sponsored. I do do, however have a discount code from the Instagram collaboration it is just Shannon 20 and that gets you 20% off of your first good American purchase if you are interested anyway before we get started as always everything that I talk about in this video will be linked in the description box down below along with all of my personal links discount codes and measurements for reference so with that being said let's hop right into it so if you're not familiar with good American it is a kind of higher-end brand mostly known for their denim and body suits but they have a little bit of everything like they have dresses activewear just regular clothes shoes swimwear a little bit of everything but mostly known for their denim and body suits and they also offer a really great size range um, from extra small to 4x so the first piece I have on is this faux leather high neck bodysuit and I'm wearing this in a size 1 which in good American a size 1 is a size small If you're familiar with my videos, um, bodysuits are a struggle for me a lot of times. Lengthwise, a lot of times they're just way too short. This one fits me perfectly. Like lengthwise, it is perfect. It is a thong class bottom, which is my favorite type of um, bodysuit, and it has um, a stretch to it, which is so, so important. It does not have a built-in shelf bra or cup pads or anything, but I feel like you don't really need it. Um, you could wear a bra with this, but it is double lined, so it's thick enough that like it doesn't really show anything through, so I don't really feel like you need to wear anything underneath it. I love the color. I love the high neck. So although it's faux leather it's just a little bit more conservative than like something like low cut faux leather um, but yeah absolutely love this bodysuit and it also comes in black as well and then the next thing that I got are these faux leather pants and I got these in a size 4 which is my regular pant size So these are high-waisted and they are a straight leg pant and they have like a little slit on the side and honestly they kind of are like jeans in that they have pockets and they have a zipper button and like belt loops. What I love about them is they have stretch to them like so comfortable. I feel like they make the booty look really good and they do not gape in the back. So absolutely love these. I feel like faux leather and faux leather pants in particular have been having a moment lately. I am absolutely loving it. I feel like it's a perfect piece um, for colder weather, but you can transition it into warmer weather and it just makes you look like, I don't know, expensive maybe that's the wrong word but like I feel like it just makes people look expensive when it's done right but yeah absolutely love these pants you can dress them up with heels um, you can wear like little booties like I have on right now um, or you can dress them down with like Air Force Ones or like Jordans or something like that super versatile up next I got this brown ribbed cropped cardigan and I got this in a size one I absolutely love a cropped cardigan. I have these in like several colors. Um, and I like that this one isn't too short because you don't always want to be showing off midriff. I'm, like if I'm going to dinner or something, I usually don't want to be just like showing off my belly. Like I, especially if it's winter time and I'm cold, like I like that it hits like right at the top of the pants. So it still like shows off your booty in the back. Um, and this one is made from a like heavy, thick ribbed material. It feels like super high quality and the sleeves are a little bit oversized, which I also love. I hate wearing super thick things that are tight on my armpits. I will be sweating profusely the entire time. So I like that it's just like a little bit breathable in that area. Um, but yeah, I've already worn this and I got a lot of compliments on it. I love the color. Neutrals just are everything to me. Actually, every single thing in this haul is a neutral. Like it's either denim, black, or like brown, tan. Um, so if you're a neutrals girl, Get, get ready. And also literally everything I'm pretty sure in this haul comes in multiple colors. Like I know this comes in like a cream color and these pants come in a tan color. So if you're not like wanting the specific color that I'm showing you, most of these items come in other colors too. Up next, I got this black denim jumpsuit and I got this in a size one. It's 
so I am obsessed with this jumpsuit. I've been wanting this jumpsuit for so freaking long and I think it is so flattering. I absolutely love it. I love jumpsuits. The only thing is, it is a little too tight in the waist for me. Like, obviously like I, it, it fits, like I can put it on, but like it's just a little too tight in the waist for my liking. Like it, it was like pretty hard to zip up like over the waist. Um, so I do think that this runs a little bit small and I am going to be exchanging this for a size two, which is a medium. Um, there is stretch to this, uh, which is the reason why I could get it on. Um, but yeah, it is just a little bit tight in the waist. And my waist measurement, I haven't updated it in a while, but I, it's usually like somewhere between 26 and 27 inches. Um, but yeah, I definitely feel like it would be more comfortable in the waist a size up, but I love this so much. I've been loving denim jumpsuits. I just, I love jumpsuits in general. I think it's so flattering and it's such like an easy thing to put on. Like if you don't want to like put an outfit together, you just put a jumpsuit on and like you literally have an outfit already and it looks just like so, I don't know, I feel like badass in this. But yeah, this comes in I think two other like, like denim, like blue washes and maybe a, a tan wash as well. So yeah, again, this comes in different colors, but yeah, I will be exchanging this for a size two because I love this so much. The next thing that I got is this black U-ring long sleeve bodysuit and I got this in a size one. So again, super happy lengthwise. This bodysuit fits me. We love that. Um, and it definitely makes the girls look great. It is very booby <laughs> in the front. But definitely a sexy little piece um, that would be cute for like a night out or a date night or something. Um, and it is double lined. So again, you don't have to wear a bra with this. Um, you could wear pasties if you want to, but I don't feel like you have to um, because it's black. It kind of like disguises and since it's double lined, like I just don't think anything is gonna show through. And there is a little bit of stretch to the fabric um, and it's this also comes in white as well. And then I got these jeans. These are called the Good 90s jeans, so like a looser kind of 90s style jean. Um, and I got these in a size four. So as I said, a looser style jean with rips in the knees. They're actually like the perfect length. Like if I wear flat shoes, like a casual shoe, they go all the way to the bottom of the shoe. And then I feel like they're a really good length to wear with boots as well. If you're a little bit shorter, you might have to like cuff them or um, hem them. Um, but for me, I'm 5'7", they're perfect length. These do not have a stretch to them, which I'm always very nervous about getting a pant that doesn't have stretch because things just, they don't work out a lot of times without stretch for me. Um, but these fit so nicely without stretch, I'm like shocked. Like they don't gape in the waist um, and they're loose enough in the thighs and they're comfortable to like sit down in. So I'm pretty impressed because I was a little nervous about these. Um, the one thing that I will say is they say they are high rise, but on me personally, I'm a little taller and I have a longer, longer torso. Um, I would say they're like in between mid and high rise. Like they hit like right under my belly button. Um, I feel like a true high rise on someone like me, I usually have to get like the like ultra high rise or super high rise and the brand offers that as opposed to the regular high rise because I have a longer torso so, and if I want something to hit like at the small of my waist, it needs like an extra inch. Um, so just wanted to throw that out there in case you're worried about the rise. Um, but for me, like with a bodysuit, it's absolutely perfect. The okay, next thing I got is this faux leather split back button up shirt and I got this in a size one. So again, faux leather, I've just been loving it. There's more to come in this video. I have been loving these faux leather like button up shirts. I just feel like 90s kind of style. Well, obviously it's everywhere now, 90s and early 2000s. Personally, I gravitate more to 90s style because early 2000s for me, I just like the like super low rise and the like Y2K, like really like gaudy kind of stuff. It's just a little less my jam than the kind of like gr more like 90s grunge 
style. I don't know. Let me know what you prefer. I don't know. In like the summertime, I'm like a little more okay with like wearing like butterfly prints and like more like fun stuff because it's very like summery and like young and fun. But in the winter, like you're not gonna catch me in the Y2K stuff. At least definitely not in Colorado when it's like snowy out. But I love more of a like neutral color palette. Um, so like even like this, like I would wear this as an outfit. I have one of these um, faux leather button ups in black as well, wear it all the time. But I like that this one has a little slit in the back. I feel like it's fun and it kind of like shows off the booty, which I'm never gonna complain about that happening. Um, so yeah, this also comes in black and they also have ones that don't have the slit if you don't want that. Up next we have the Good Legs jeans and I'm wearing these in a size four. So I believe these ones are called a cigarette hem jean because they have like a little bit of like the distressing around the ankle and they are a slightly cropped jean, like not a full crop, but like a seven, eight length crop, I would say. These also do have stretch to them, which a tight jean for me needs to have stretch, like it just has to. Um, and the good legs, they say they're high rise, but to me, they're not high rise. To me, the good legs are definitely a mid rise jean. Um, so I actually personally prefer the good waist jean. Um, good American offers so many different styles of jeans. Like if you go on their site and you can kind of like go on their site and put in exactly what you're looking for and like filter out um, based on like style and like um, rise. Um, and they do say that these are high rise and they are like, higher rise than low rise, um, but I definitely think these are mid rise. Um, so the good waist uh, are actually a true high rise jean from them. So most of my good American jeans are the good waist style. Um, I did want to try a good legs just to see and compare. Um, and I do like them, but I definitely think I prefer the good waist style to these. Up next, I got these faux leather shorts and I got these in a size one. So these shorts are high rise with a draw cord elastic waistband and they have pockets on the sides. They have stretch to them just like all of the other faux leather pieces and I absolutely love these. I love that they are long enough. Um, a lot of shorts are just way too short for me, um, especially in the back. Like a lot of times my butt just pops out and I don't always want that happening, you know? But yeah, I think these are super flattering and a great like transitional piece because you could wear these with like like tights and boots in the winter time um, and like a long sleeve bodysuit like this or even like a sweater um, or you could wear these with like a short sleeve bodysuit or a crop top or something in the summertime so I am super excited about these I've been looking for the perfect pair of faux leather shorts and it's been hard to find because shorts are one of the hardest things for me to shop for um, I'm just very particular about shorts so I'm super super happy with these up next we have more faux leather. So we have this faux leather U-ring bodysuit and I got this in a size one. So again, it kind of similar to the last bodysuit with the U-ring, makes the girls look great. This one though is a little bit tighter and definitely a little tighter down yonder than the other bodysuits. Um, so I definitely would say if you are in between sizes, I would size up in this bodysuit. But yeah, I absolutely love this. I can't wait to wear this out. The last thing that I got is this faux leather dress and I got this in a size one. So again, loving all the faux leather. This one has like a square neckline and it's midi length. But then in the back, it's lace up. It has a slit up the back and then it zips right here. So kind of business in the front, party in the back. I absolutely love it. I think it is so flattering. It has a stretch to it, so it's comfortable. And the lining of all these faux leather pieces is like a soft suede material. I forgot to mention that. So it's not like leather on leather, like leather on your body in all of these and like sweaty and uncomfortable. This one doesn't have a built-in bra, but it's double lined, so I don't feel like you need it. Um, and you can like lace it up as tight as you want in the back. I actually didn't do the bottom lace because it would have taken me way too long. Um, it'd be way easier if someone was here to lace me up, but alas, no one is here. Uh, again, I feel like this would be so cute for like a like fancy 
date night, girls night, if you're going out in like Vegas or Miami or something like this, this would be a moment. Love it. So that is it, you guys. I thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Again, I do have a Good American discount code. It's Shannon20 and everything is linked in the description box down below. Let me know if you have any questions about anything and I will do my best to answer those for you. And let me know if there are other brands you want me to do a dedicated haul to. I took a little break from YouTube for like a month or so, uh, but I'm back and I'm trying to get back in my group. I've just I've just been off. I don't know this past year. It was just a weird one um, Definitely a weird winter, but I'm trying to get back in the swing of things So let me know if you have any ideas that is it and I will catch you next time guys. Bye